Welcome to my second video. This is your wealth and estate planner. In building wealth, it is not only about increasing our cash inflow. It is also important to manage our cash outflow. That is maximizing revenues and minimizing costs at the same time. Malaki nga ang income mo, pero kung malaki din ang expenses mo, baliwala din, di ba? For instance, si Juan na may monthly income ng 100,000 pesos, pero ang cost of living niya or lifestyle is 90,000 pesos. Meron siyang 10,000 pesos net cash flow a month. Si Maria naman, meron lang siyang 50,000 pesos monthly income, pero ang cost of living or lifestyle niya ay nasa 30,000 pesos a month. So, meron siyang monthly savings na 20,000 pesos. Doble kumpara kay Juan, notwithstanding the fact na doble ang monthly income niya as compared kay Maria. Lesson, at the end of the day, what is important is how much you save rather than how much you earn. And one of the ways to minimize cost is to understand the time value of money. Nasubukan mo na bang bumili ng sasakyan or house and lot under installment basis at nag-canvas ng interest rates? Nakapag-compute ka na ba to ensure na totoo yung sinabi na interest rate based on diminishing balance method? Gusto mo bang matuto paano i-compute ang monthly amortization mo based on the prevailing interest rate? Gusto mo bang matuto paano i-compute ang prevailing interest rate based on the amortization schedule na binigay sa iyo? Kung oo, panoorin mo ang video na to. It is very helpful to really have knowledge about time value of money. It is helpful in the sense that it allows us to really check or counter check whether the interest rate that is given to us based on the amortization schedule is really correct or not. Because there are several financial institutions, lending institutions, banks, where the prevailing interest rate when you compute for your actual amortization, it doesn't tally. So to ensure that whatever you pay for for your loans is really um, equal to the prevailing interest rate that is marketed to you, okay? So for instance, um, you applied for a uh, 5 million pesos loan or housing loan, okay? 5 million pesos housing loan for 20 years, right? So for 20 years, uh, let's say uh, this uh, institution gave you an annual interest rate of, um, let's say, 6%, okay? So this is 6%. So now, um, to ensure... Uh, or to compute for your uh, monthly amortization, so based on your budget, of course, that um, um, you have to ensure that whatever amount of your monthly amortization is within your budget. So to compute for your monthly amortization, uh, you just need to uh, go to the Excel. So just type the payment. So payment, this is the amortization schedule. Then um, open parentheses. So, how much is the rate? What is the rate? So, this is uh, 0 0.06. So, since this amortization is uh, on an annual period, so we just have to divide this 6% uh, on a 12 month basis. Okay, so this is divided by 12. And the number of period is 20 years. <clears throat> so, we have to I convert it into months or so multiply by 12 months, 12 months in one year. And the present value is the amount of loan. So this is negative five, one, two, three, one, two, three. Negative because this is the uh, amount of cash outflow. Okay. 
So then the, the future value is zero, the type is zero. So your monthly amortization based on the amount of loan of 5 million pesos for 20 years with annual interest rate of 6% is 35,821.55. So at least you have the idea whether you can afford this based on your budget if you apply for a 5 million housing loan, right? So let's say, for example, you applied for a car loan, okay? You applied for a car, car loan. Uh, let's say, for example, car loan of uh, 1 million pesos uh, for a 9% interest rate. So 9% uh, divided by 12, number of period, normally five years, right? So multiply by 12, and the amount of loan is 1 million. Zero. So your monthly amortization for a car loan for five years with, with the annual interest rate of 9% is 20,758.36. <clears throat> so you can now check <clears throat> normally based on the agreement of your loan. So binibigay din sa'yo kung magkano monthly amortization mo. So now you know you are now capable to compute how much is your monthly amortization. So based on your computation and the amortization schedule given to you, you can now compare to ensure na tama yung amortization mo at hindi sumosobra based sa computation mo, di ba? Minsan sasabihin sa iyo, uh, this is only 6%, but the given monthly amortization is if more than 35,821.55 yung amortization mo, so um, that institution um, really deceive you, di ba? Niloloko ka lang. So parang um, it's only uh, for the sake of marketing. Marketing lang yung lower amortization, lower interest rate. Pero in fact, more than yung interest rate doon. Okay? So let's... <clears throat> illustrate naman, let's say for example, um, hindi binigay sa iyo yung interest rate. Kung hindi binigay sa iyo yung interest rate, binigay lang sa iyo is uh, monthly amortization. Okay? With monthly amortization of 35, 821.55. Okay? So you can now compute kung magkano yung interest rate. Okay, so go compute mo lang, go to the Excel. So this is the rate, go to the rate and <clears throat> number of periods. So this is 20, okay, so 20. Uh, and then the payment is 35,821.55 multiply by 12 months to convert it into year, okay. So... We just have to make this negative. And the present value is uh, 5 million. Okay, this is zero, this is zero. So your, um, uh, if you want to compete for the annual interest rate based on the amortization of schedule of 35,821.55, the prevailing interest rate is 6%, okay? So at least, um, alam mo na tama yung binigay na amortization sa'yo na 35,821.55 dun sa 6% interest rate. At nalaman mo na 6%. If the prevailing interest rate based on the housing loans or loans is less than 6%, ibig sabihin nun, um, you don't really ano, um, maximize or you are not availing a lower interest rate. Okay, so very important to understand this uh, time value of money to ensure that um, uh, we take advantage of the value of money, okay? um, lesser cost, maximum revenues in order for us to build uh, wealth. I hope you have learned on this video and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that we can reach more individuals um, to be financially literate in order to build wealth and achieve their financial goals. And also like this video. Thank you. Have a nice day.